Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Now, it's not a very long tutorial. What I've uh, done here is I'm just showing you how to create a, uh, a semi-opaque uh, glass window. Uh, the one we did originally on the waiting room uh, was completely opaque. You couldn't see through it. Uh, and it really had the hint of something inside the waiting room uh, by uh, taking an image uh, and here it is, it's this one here uh, I put an image be behind there, I darkened it off so you can't really uh, make anything out, it's quite indistinct but it is a solid image, that's a solid image there uh, same as this night time uh, one over here, that's a solid image as well now i created a third uh, texture here uh, and this is transparent um, so this has an alpha uh, with it which these ones didn't have an alpha because uh, they're not got any transparency at all this one is transparent so <laughs> If you could put your, your hand behind it, you would see your hand uh, through it. Um, so this way, instead of uh, giving an illusion uh, that there's something inside, uh, you might use this sort of technique uh, if you've got furniture or something inside the building that you want to actually see. Now, I wouldn't recommend this particularly for a building because it does mean you've got to build all the furniture uh, and that inside unless you wanted that detail um, but obviously if it's a uh, carriage uh, then you would want a uh, semi-opaque window or uh, a completely transparent window uh, so this is the way to do it so I've created this it's uh, it's pretty much transparent I've, I gave it a bit of a blue color just to give it that sense of being glass uh, rather than just as if it's not there which it could look like it's not there if it's got no uh, sense of, uh, of texture to it so what I've done then is I created a third uh, plane I just copied this uh, FX uh, day uh, plane uh, and I applied this new material on it now i've got it here uh this is transparent so uh this is just a transparent material and what i've done is i've used this shader so it's exactly the same as uh, when we exported uh, it last time uh except i'm exporting the waiting room and this single uh window uh plane and uh, on the on the uh, on this one, it's just a text diff as it was before. But on the window, it is this shader here, blend a text diff, and it says here it's mapped with diffuse color using alpha blending from the textures alpha channel. So that alpha channel, the the fact that you can see through it, um, is used uh, with this shader to create a transparent uh, image now that's one and I'll show you that in blender uh, not in blender sorry in trends uh, train sim uh, the other one here uh, that I've used is this one here and this one I've called FX tra underscore trends now the difference is this one uh, uses this uh, shader here I'll just bring it up uh, it's this train glass FX shader so this is uh, this is made for creating glass uh, in carriages or whatever wherever you want glass uh, and it's got two channels uh, in much the same way as it had before when it was the FX day uh, one uh, so it's the same thing. You just give it the same uh, uh, the same texture on both channels, and then uh, Train Sim will use that second channel, uh, as it says here. Uh, it use it 
to uh, add a, a sort of environment type map and I'll show you what that looks like then in in train sim so what we'll do we'll go into train sim and I'll show you the difference between all three versions of the waiting room so I'll see you in train sim so here we are in train sim we've got our three uh, buildings each with different types of windows now the first one uh, used our uh, train env uh, fx shader uh, now uh, the windows themselves are not transparent uh, it, we give the illusion uh, of there being something inside the room uh, by uh, creating uh, a sort of dark uh, undefined image uh, in there but what we have got we've got a nice reflective um, surface uh, reflecting the environment so that for a building would probably be the best way to uh, go about it the second one uh, here uh, this used a blend a diff uh, shader now this uh, gives us that transparency we can see through the window now um, but the problem being is that we can also see through uh, the surrounds it's treating the whole thing as a uh, sort of blended alpha mode so the the different uh, uh, levels of uh, grayscale if you like are becoming see-through so um, we're actually seeing through the two outer uh, sections which are wood uh, would be wood normally we're actually seeing through that so that uh, would be fine if you're using just a single plane and it's all going to be transparent but it's not so good in this case where we've got woody bits within that window uh, the third one this uses the glass uh, the train glass fx shader now this is the one uh, if we look at it we get the same effect as like our first one we get the reflection the environment reflection on the uh, on the window uh, we uh, can see through the glass uh, bits the transparent uh, parts of it but not the non-transparent parts. so it's only uh, the transparent parts that we're actually seeing through here which is much better than the second example uh, so this is the one to use for uh, carriages the carriage windows where you want to see inside you could also use it for buildings I wouldn't advise it for buildings except perhaps loco sheds where you all, all you've got inside you'd all you'd expect inside a loco shed would be a loco and uh, a, perhaps a bit of track you wouldn't have any uh, real furniture in there anyway so you've not got any big modeling uh, requirements uh, with something like a loco shed so this would be fine for that but for buildings I wouldn't advise using it because it does mean you've got to then model an inside to the building but for train carriages then this is the one to use this will work and uh, it does look nice I, I put uh, originally on the transparent material I gave it a slight uh, blue uh, tint uh, to the window uh, rather than a, pla uh, a completely uh, plain uh, transparency because you won't really see much you might see the highlights and speculars on it but uh, yeah it won't give the illusion of glass so uh, just add a little tint uh, of color and blue tends to work quite well for it so just add that little tint of color uh, and this will serve the purpose for train carriages and things like that or as I say if you're going to do a building it'll be okay on something like a loco shed where you don't expect anything inside apart from a train so uh, there it is there's the free uh, the free train uh, buildings the free sorry the free station buildings each with uh, different uh, windows and there is nothing to stop you by the way as well using the day night thing uh, with this uh, that will work uh, as long as you renamed it I called it 
uh, uh, trans FX. You must must call it uh, day uh, FX uh, for it to work with the day night thing. So there we go. That's it. Uh, and I hope that uh, uh, you've got something out of this tutorial. So I'll see you in the next one.